Okay. So, front of the bus, <clears throat> 28 long, flat nose. And then we have all of our panels on the side over here, original to the bus, which is your electric panels, all your wires are in here. Um, then you have two storage compartments. The left one is for batteries and the middle and the right one are for storage, exterior storage. You can see the solar panels up there as well. Four panels at 470 watts each. And then you have the balcony right here that has a ladder as well. Back of the bus. Um, in the back of the bus, I can also show you. This is your gray water tank. I believe it's 75 gallons. Ready to go. And then on the opposite side is your uh, batteries as well. So details on the battery there. There's six batteries in total at 100 amp hours each. This is the back entrance of the bus. There's also a side entrance to the bus. So on the inside, that's where the master bedroom is. And that has two access points if you need it. They're locked from the inside. And then you have just the other side, which is on the side of the balcony. You can see the AC from up here, up from here. You can see the top of the fan from here. And then the solar panels that continue on this side as well. And then the main entrance. Tires in great condition. Um, and then your gas is right here. Your tires, once again, I'll show you that we also have 50 amp shore power on this side as well. And this is also your um, inlet for the water as well um, when we need to actually. It's locked right now, but that's where the water goes in from. This is the driver's seat. All the meters, odometers work. Everything from the parking brake to air pressure works without any issue. Cruise control as well. And then we have our doghouse. We have the fan running issues and then we have a door and main entrance and then behind that we also have a little storage compartment here that holds random stuff as you need shoes or whatever you may need to get in and out quickly so continuing on and then we also have our hangout area which is three seats on the left three seats on the right and right underneath both of these is storage compartment so we have storage and immense underneath this side and then the same goes for this side Continuing on outside of the common area, then we have our station one, which is workstation one, allows us to work from here as we need. Some mason jars, some magnets up, out, up above to whatever you may need it for and all the other stuff here is just as needed for camping and off-grid lifestyle this is the counter which we'll, we'll get to next so now this is the kitchen countertop cabinet storage etc etc two gas stove about three to four feet of counter space 
uh, one cabinet, one drawer, three drawers, plus another cabinet. And then we have a working sink as well. Working sink has hot and cold water and then three options for how the water comes out. So, water is out right now, but you can tell, you can see that the water does work. And next is the bathroom. Bathroom comes private. So we have the bathroom here with uh, a toilet, fully functional. And then also a drop down area for whatever purpose we may have some privacy, some whatever it may be. And then plenty of storage along the way. Up here, up there. Bathroom is right there. Oh. So now we're going back towards common area behind the kitchen, behind the bathroom. And then we have our fridge, working station, and then bunk beds. One here, one there. So there's mattresses ready to go. Double mattresses here as well. Some poles to put up some curtains, but just gives you a a view of the setup okay underneath this area is also where our battery solar power setup is as you can see that we have our inverters and our charge controllers right here all the cables and wires lead to batteries outside and panels up on the roof pretty good setup where you can run everything from an instant pot to your phones to to a toaster oven without any issue throughout the day ac included um victron and bobborn batteries so really good setup to be off grid for a long period of time unless you need to replenish on produce water gas or something else that's not electrically related related behind the workstation fridge fridge is also just running by the way so you know you can hear the sound it's all empty right now because we don't have any food in there that's the freezer right behind that though is our main sweet all it needs is a queen or king size mattress and you're good to go underneath that is 125 gallons of water that can hold and then behind that is a ton of storage as well so about half of it's taken by the water tank and then half of it or more is available as storage for whoever needs it or for whatever use it may have. This is the back area. You got entrance one or entrance two, entrance three. And they can all be locked and then you have the ladder that goes outdoors to the roof. And then we're golden. And then this is the full view of the home. Ready for a full move in some storage, other things that you may need. Kitchen, bathroom, common area, workstation, dog house, main entrance, driver's seat.